Hey, it's Valentina V. And today on 4 Minute Film School, come along with me as I shoot a fake LaCroix commercial like this. We're gonna show you three setups for shooting a beverage commercial. Let's go. Obviously this commercial is fake, but the same rules apply as to any other beverage commercial. What is the beverage? How can we highlight it in the best way? And what does the packaging look like? For our first setup, we have the ever popular item, falling in water gag. Usually you would use a fish tank for this, but because we decided to shoot on a macro lens and really close up on these raspberries, we just shot it in a glass. The glass itself will create a diffusion for you. In this case, we had a 300D really close to the glass up at maximum power in order to get that punch from the front. I also added this little MC light at 5600 Kelvin color temperature to add a little bit of an accent from the bottom. Now this background, it's not actually blue. What's cool about having a light that is RGB and having a white seamless is that you can actually turn it to whatever color you want. All right, now that we've got the close up on the berry, let's go to the next setup. Our next setup, we wanted to do a pouring shot, but not just your regular average Joe pouring shot. We also wanted the glass to spin and the camera to move forward. We got this amazing probe lens, which is also a micro lens, and it'll allow us to see all of those tiny little details. This time I wasn't so concerned about reflections. I actually wanted reflections and I chose a glass that had all of these grooves so that I can get the most reflections possible. We also had fake ice, which creates even more reflections. For the lighting, we used two lights again, the same 300D that we used last time with those barn doors closed up, and a second one. This is a 300X with the Fresnel mount and the barn doors. And then of course we kept the backlight, the Nova, the same. Since it's a commercial, we wanna keep the entire mood of the commercial the same. We were shooting at 120 frames per second, super slow motion. The other thing about 120 frames per second is that you have to compensate with your shutter speed. So you lose a lot of light which is why we used two incredibly powerful lights on their highest settings, super close to the subject. Let's go to the third and final setup. Our last setup of the day is the actual LaCroix can. We have the same light as before, the 300D with the barn doors. We kept it the same for all three setups. This time, however, the 300X on this side, we have a little silk on it. Next is our key light, the thing that's really gonna illuminate the logo. We have our 120D2 with the Light Dome 2 attachment in front of it. This one is gonna be our primary light that's going to just light up the whole scene and make it nice and vibrant. And of course, we kept the Nova the same in the background. As we were pushing in, I wanted one light to sort of illuminate the darker side of the can. And that was a little MC set on the daylight setting so that it matched all the other lights. There's a lot of challenges with lighting cans and there's no one way to be perfect about it because there's always going to be some kind of reflection. Also, if you are using any kind of plexiglass surface, make sure that it is super clean. Because it was darker and reflective, it also reflected our background. All right, now that we've learned the lighting, let's see the entire commercial. If you're about to film a beverage commercial, sort of like this one, here are some takeaways. Number one, you don't need to have a colorful background. A white seamless works just as well if you have an RGB light to shine at it. Number two, any kind of movement is good, incorporating sideways movement, front to back movement, movement of the lights themselves, and shooting in slow motion really helps. And lastly, if you can get your hands on a macro lens, that's gonna be perfect for any beverage situation. 
Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Give this video a like if you liked it and subscribe to our channel. Leave us a comment about what kind of commercial you think we should do next for a chance to win an Aperture M9 Lite. This is Valentina V from Aperture. All my social media links are down below. And that's it for this video. Bye.